This video shows how to load plain and specialty paper in your HP Envy 7640, OfficeJet 5740, or OfficeJet 8040 E all in one printer. You can print on plain paper, legal size paper, envelopes, index cards, and photo paper. Make sure to place the printer on a hard flat surface before printing. Follow these steps to print on letter, A4, and legal size paper. Grasp the handle of the input tray, and then pull the tray toward you to open it. With the input tray pulled out, push in the photo tray as far as possible. Remove any paper from the input tray, and slide out the paper width guides as far as possible. If you are loading legal size paper, Lower the front of the input tray. Locate the latch that is inside the front of the tray on the left. Slide the latch upward, then lower the front of the tray. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Place a small stack of paper into the tray. Make sure that the print side is down and the short edge forward. Push the paper toward the back of the input tray until the paper stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Push the input tray into the printer until it locks into place. The Have You Changed the Paper screen displays on the printer control panel. If you did not change the paper size or type, touch OK to return to the home screen. If you did change the paper size or type, touch Main Tray, touch Paper Size, and then touch your paper size. Touch Paper Type, and then touch your paper type. Touch Done and then touch OK to return to the home screen. Follow these steps to print on envelopes. Grasp the handle of the input tray, and then pull the tray toward you to open it. With the input tray pulled out, push in the photo tray as far as possible. Remove any paper from the input tray, and slide out the paper width guides as far as possible. Place the envelopes in the center of the input tray, with the envelope flap on the left and facing up. If the flap is on the short end of the envelope, place the envelope in the center of the tray with the flap away from the printer and facing up. Push the envelopes toward the back of the input tray until the envelopes stop. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the envelopes. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the envelopes. Make sure that the envelopes are centered in the tray. The stack of envelopes should not be higher than the top edges of the paper width guides. Push the input tray into the printer until it locks into place. Choose the correct paper size and type on the printer control panel. Follow these steps to print on index cards. Grasp the handle of the input tray, and then pull the tray toward you to open it. With the input tray pulled out, push in the photo tray as far as possible. Remove any paper from the input tray, and slide out the paper width guides as far as possible. Place a small stack of index cards into the center of the input tray. Make sure that the print side is downward, with the short edge forward. Push the index cards toward the back of the input tray until the cards stop. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the cards. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the cards. Make sure that the index cards are centered in the tray. Make sure that the stack of cards is not higher than the top edges of the paper width guides. Push the input tray into the printer until it locks into place. Choose the correct paper size and type on the printer control panel. 
Follow these steps to print on photo paper. Grasp the handle of the input tray and then pull the tray towards you to open it. Place one or two fingers in the slot on the photo tray and then pull the tray towards you to open it as far as possible. Remove any paper from the photo tray. If the photo tray has adjustable paper width guides, gently slide them out as far as possible. Place the photo paper into the photo tray with the print side downward. For photo paper with a perforated tab, place the paper in the tray print side downward with the perforated tab closest to you. If the photo tray has adjustable paper width guides, slide the guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Make sure that the photo paper is centered in the tray. The stack of photo paper should not be higher than the top edges of the paper width guides. Push the photo tray into the printer as far as possible. Then push the input tray into the printer until it locks into place. The Have You Changed the Paper screen displays on the printer control panel. If the correct size photo paper displays in the photo tray field, the photo paper is loaded correctly in the photo tray. Touch OK to return to the home screen. If the photo tray field displays as empty, open the photo tray and make sure that the photo paper is pushed all the way to the back of the tray. Push the photo tray into the printer as far as possible. Then push the input tray into the printer until it locks into place. On the control panel, make sure the correct size photo paper displays in the photo tray field. Touch OK to return to the home screen and begin printing. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash HP Printer Support.